in this video lecture we are going to talk of expansion path as we know in producer's theory there is one thing known as short run the other thing is long run so let's first discuss in terms of long run in the long run what happens is that both capital and labor can change and as you can see in the graph uh, we have drawn a long run uh, producers equilibrium so you can see that both capital and labor can change there are multiple iso cost lines there are multiple iso quants we know that the producers equilibrium here is where your iso cost is changing to your iso quant right so this e1 e2 and e3 are three producers equilibrium now if we join these points of producers equilibrium there is a path that we get this path here is known as expansion path so this iso cost line the one line which uh, tangent to this iso point at point e1 right so this gives us one combination of k and l another combination of k and l is this and there is this third combination of k and l represented by this so these three are producers equilibrium and if we join them this path is known as expansion path in a way this path shows that if a firm expands if a firm raises its output so how is the combination of k and y are going to behave so basically this path shows the different combinations of k and l as a firm expands you can call that it is a set of different producers equilibrium in the long run or you can also say that this represents different combinations of k and l in the equilibrium as a firm expands its operation or expands its output now in order to understand expansion path in the short run see all this thing that we have talked this is in the long run why because we can see that both capital and labor are changing but now let me assume that one input is kept constant so let me keep capital constant here so this becomes my k1 so your capital is kept constant at k1 so now if you see this e1 is the point of equilibrium for this output level q however what you see is that in e1 the capital that is used is much less than this k1 but you know in short run the capital is fixed so you can't really change the capital level uh, from k1 in the short run so you can't reduce the capital level as well uh, so in order to produce this q level of uh, output if you join this iso quant like this you will get a point on this curve here why because k1 is constant and in order to produce this q level this much labor is required on the other hand if e2 is the new equilibrium if this output level is say q dash see in at this k1 is required and l is required so at this there is no problem the there is equilibrium in the short run as well as long run now move to this output level q double dash now what is happening at this output level you need a higher level of capital e3 is the point but your capital is fixed at k1 so so in order to produce k double dash and if i fix my k1 i will have to extend my iso quant like this so right so this becomes the labor new labor l2 amount of labor that is required to produce q2 why because now you have to reduce the quantity of k so if you see this one point two point and the three points here this becomes a short run expansion path we will try drawing it in a fresh diagram first nothing changes there is this there is this equilibrium like this this is long run right then there is this there is capital and labor both can change again long run this is again long run a long run structure right now what we do this is capital and this is labor and all this is happening this loss cost least cost uh, output is when capital and labor can change now if i have to fix one input so let me fix my capital as k is equal to k1 why in the short run it is fixed so in order to produce q1 level of output right my k1 is fixed like this however i need lower k1 but i cannot reduce the level of k1 so how in order to produce this q1 i will join this so that means l1 has to be used so this gives me first point of short run expansion path now in the second equilibrium at this point a higher level of capital is required but i have lower level of capital so in order to produce this q2 level of output 
what is happening how much labor would i use this much labor i will have to have similarly this much capital is required to produce this q3 level of output but however i cannot increase the level of capital so for producing this q3 i'll have to take this here so why because capital is constant how much labor would i require l3 so if i mark the points of equilibrium let me mark these points with a blue so this is first point a this is the second point where your q2 isoquant intersects the k1 line this is q3 intersects the k1 line so the if i join these it would be a straight line like this this gives you your short run expansion path now in the short run let's see that why it is not cost minimizing uh, are we minimizing cost in the short run why it is not happening the other question see all the points where there is tangency for example there was this point this now this is the least cost combination if this is if i'm using this much amount of capital so that means a greater amount of capital and a lesser amount of labor in the short run i am forced to use a different combination of k and l so any combination such that your mrts is not equal to w by r it is going to give a higher cost now one of the question that could be raised is as you compare this equilibrium to the point a here so a lesser amount of labor is used right as compared to this and a higher amount of capital is used see your whole cost in this case is given by w l plus r k so we do not know the values of w and r so although your labor is getting reduced and your capital is getting increased we do not know wage rates and r all we know is that the condition for minimum cost is that your iso quant has to be tangent to your iso quant so we, on any point if you move from any point where this tangency condition is not satisfied that is not the least cost combination means this cost is not minimized so that means in the short run we are not operating at the least cost and this was the derivation of your short run expansion path if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section